Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Simply Building with Soap the Great. Today we are continuing our country church project, and here we are. So, last episode, we finished up the roof detail on the outside, and then we came in and finished the ceiling detail in here. And today we are going to get started on our interior decorating. Also, we need to fill this in, and I think for now I am going to go with light gray. We'll go with that one. We'll go with gray stained glass. Provides a little bit of of detail, but not uh, not overly so. Keep the weather out, and there we go. Okay, so we're all done with that. We'll get back our carpet. And now what we need to do is build the platform. So we're going to go three wide here. And then we're going to come out a little bit more. Okay. And again, don't worry. We are going to come back through and put in some more of the cracked stone brick. Don't you worry. All right. So now we've got our little platform. And we need to build up the pulpit, which you would see in a number of churches and so I'm going to use the note blocks again and this just gives it an idea of soundproofing and, uh, and and I'll tell you why so this is mimicking a small country church and we're gonna say that they do not have a speaker system or a PA system so they're going to be relying on the preacher to just project and one of the ways that they help project is using what are called jack in the pulpits or something like that let's uh, let's not hit it there okay and so we're gonna do this and then a little bit of that maybe that's too much we'll just do that and we'll build up his his stand right here uh, as the case may be just, just to get a little bit no that's not gonna work we need it up top and we need it facing this way okay so we'll just knock that out and now he's got a little stand to sit on and I say he because uh, that's what we've got in my village at on the Adventure Time multiplayer server it is a villager and they, well, they really don't, they're not he or she, but uh, yeah, there we go. And maybe, that looks kind of empty, don't you think? Yeah, I, I think that looks kind of empty. We're done, we're not going to use that. Let's see if putting up a fence helps a little bit. Not really. Let's just do that. Fill in some soundproofing. I don't know. You let me know what you think. I don't know that I'm necessarily a fan of that. And then back here it looks kind of empty so we'll just fill back in with some more of these. You don't have to do this because I know note blocks can be somewhat expensive with the redstone. I don't know folks. Hmm. We could just do this, get rid of these stairs. Not that. Got to watch out on creative. You can really mess something up. <laughs> oh, making the note blocks go. It's funny. You know, I'm I can't say that I'm pleased with it. Or maybe we knock that out since we do have the platform up top here. I don't know. Well, you let me know what you think. I, I'm, I'm on the fence about that one. So we're going to go back here and we're going to start filling in the seats. Leave a center aisle and leave room to walk. And how much room is there? Yeah, so do a little bit more. Okay, that's kind of close, but that's fine. 
And then on the sides of these, these pews, we will put item frames. Kind of doing the same trick we did with the wall sconces, right? Uh, except no, no torches. Oh, I can't be in the block when I'm placing these. All right, so we'll fill that in. Come on, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna watch out there. And there we go, okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's see, I'm gonna use spruce wood planks. And we'll fill in each of these sides here. And you might see this on some some pew designs. Um, it can vary. Just depends on what what kind of detail you want there. You could try something different. It doesn't have to be spruce wood planks. But when they make those, they tend to be a little bit uh, a little bit extra detail, a little bit extra um, texture on it. So. So yeah, all right, now, can we put, we can put carpet there. So I'm gonna cover this whole thing in carpet. And there we go, get, get all of that. One thing that's not gonna be covered in carpet is under that front table and there's a way around that so let me show you that real quick we want to make it look like this whole thing is carpeted okay so I, uh, I messed that one up let's get that and that and that and we will get some red wool I'm using red as the, as the carpet color you don't have to do that just use whichever color you see fit come on and there we go we're all done with that one we'll bring this guy back down and finish up the front of the church building with a little flower pot and then once we're done up here we will go to the back part of the church building And it might help to have a little bit of light back here just for mob spawning purposes if you build this in survival and then we're gonna do another one of those tables so we'll come back here do that and we're gonna go with the dark oak I thought I was done but apparently not and Make sure we get the right angle. And no, am I in the block? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I was in the block. That's oh, that's a stair back there. We're getting that hitbox issue again. Yeah, I'll be glad when that's fixed. So let's just fill in with some more carpet. And we're going to leave one block open right there and right there. Actually, that needs to be that. And we're going to put a little guest book down. So when people come in for the first time, they can sign their names if they wish. And then uh, this is not standard in my particular Christian tradition, um, but it is in some people's. So I just want to put that here we'll get rid of that um, and move it over one just to center a little bit and you can hide glowstone actually you can hide glowstone under the uh, table here if you wanted and we'll get this and this and this fill it up with some water and so that can be like a little holy water area people can use if they wish Hmm. Some seems off center here. That's centered. Maybe it's just the cauldron that's messing things up. But yeah, okay. Let's move on and we'll get some more flowers because 
never hurts to have flowers. And I've picked some of my favorites within Minecraft. Uh, this one we'll put here. A little tulip there and an allium. And then the orchid up front. All right, well, that is the interior design pretty much done. Um, you know, let me know what you think. If you've got any ideas for this thing, we may come back and revisit this, but it does give kind of that um, Jack in the Pulpit feel. And the reason they had that is their voices would project, and this thing up here would serve as kind of a soundproofing and direct the voice outwards. So you had not just the voice of the preacher, but uh, some, some physical barriers as well, keeping it from getting lost up in the ceiling. Because uh, these things are not uh, good acoustics at all. So just got to keep that in mind. But we are pretty much done here with the interior decoration. And that is it for this episode. Join us next time as we put some of the ruined touches, you know, with the cracked stone brick and the mossy stone brick. We're going to go around and, and add a few details to the outside, make it look like this building has been here for quite some time. Okay, so stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.